Would you believe me if I told you that I have made $72,859.03 over the last four months doing print on demand? Hi, my name is Meg and I'm here to show you that print on demand isn't dead and that you can continue to make thousands of dollars each month. In fact, I can confidently say that because I'm not making money anywhere else besides this store. Print on demand challenge videos are all over the place, but ironically, most people run the store for a day or maybe a week and barely break ground in print on demand and then call it quits. I quit. If you're new here, I started a brand new print on demand t-shirt store in July of 2023. And since starting, I decided I would do a six month long challenge to see if I can make a hundred thousand dollars of pure profit on this store alone. Now, today is November 26th, which means I have exactly 66 days left to make the remaining $27,140.97 in profit from selling t-shirts before my January 31st deadline, or I fail this challenge. In this video, I'm going to go over how I've run this store this past week, and we'll dive into what went well, what went completely wrong. And if you stick around to the end, I'll even show you the analytics and we can see if I made any profit at all this week. Here's how the business works. In simple terms, I make ads that I show on Facebook. A customer or a person on Facebook sees the ad, they like it, and they decide to click on the ad, which then takes them to my store. From there, I need to have a site that is fast, looks nice, and looks legit. Meaning it doesn't look too shady and they feel pretty confident that they're going to actually receive a t-shirt if they put an order in. The customer needs to then complete the checkout on my Shopify store and from there, the order gets sent to Printify where they will produce, print, and ship my order for me. I'm essentially a glorified middleman that never actually touches the product. Now, that's the simplest way to explain how my business works. It's pretty straightforward and it's continued to work week after week. And this has helped me make $72,000 since July when I started this store. So what did I do this week of November 19th through November 25th? Now, this week is a little biased because we had our best week of all time. We had our highest revenue week as well as our highest single sales day since starting this store. And we really only have one thing to thank for this, Black Friday. It is no question that Q4 or the last three months of the year are typically the best time for businesses that sell physical goods like t-shirts. As they say, Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> Candy cane girl! And people are typically in a I need to buy gifts mentality. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what did we do for Black Friday to prepare? And I can honestly say that we didn't do enough. Now, we still prepared for Black Friday. We sent out four email campaigns over the week to share our sales that we were running with our customers that signed up for email marketing from us. And we also set up a few Black Friday ads on Facebook, sharing our sales as well. And that was pretty much it. Now, if you're a big time company, my guess is your entire Q3 efforts are probably all devoted to Q4. But it's really hard to do that when you launched your store in the middle of Q3 and have no set system on your business yet. I'm just chucking it up to next Black Friday, we're going to prepare even better and get even better results. Instead of doing five to seven K revenue days, I'm thinking 30 to 50 K revenue days like this store here. How much profit did Black Friday get me? Let's take a look at the profit and loss sheet and see what the numbers say. So for the week of November 19th through November 25th, we did $38,378.63 in total revenue for the week. This is up 16% over the previous week, which is amazing. Our average order value was up 3% at $44.57. Our online store sessions were up 6% at 23,622. Online store conversion rate was a 3.09%, which is the highest that it's been since starting this store. 
And our total numbers were 782 total orders for the week and a 13.5% returning customer rate, which is pretty decent, meaning people who had bought before had actually bought again, which is everybody's dream. You really wanna try to build a brand that people wanna continue coming back for. So enough about the analytics, let's get into the profit. So for this week, our total sales were $38,378.63 in total revenue. Now our printer refund, which is the 5% that we get back from Printify because we sell so many t-shirts, was $648.32. And our 2% cash back that we get tax-free for using our credit card was $602.71. This is great because it's tax-free. Uncle Sam can't touch a cent of it. For a total of $39,629.66. So that is our total income for the store this week. I would love for that to be money that I take home, but unfortunately, running an e-commerce store comes with costs. Now, our largest cost on the store is going to be our printer invoice, otherwise known as cost of goods. Our cost of goods for the week was $17,288.61. This is our largest expense on the store, which makes sense. It accounted for 43.6% of our total revenue. So, 43% of everything that we made just went to paying off our t-shirts. Now, our second largest expense is going to be our advertising. We spent $12,455.68 on Facebook advertising this week, as you can see right here. Now, we ran at a 2.17 ROAS, which means we were profitable. For our store to be profitable, we need to run at a two or better. So this means of the ads that we're running, we were running profitably. As you can see, our best campaign was a retargeting campaign of a 4.23% ROAS, which is basically retargeting people who had bought before or who had come to the site and hadn't purchased. They kind of get almost like little reminders, like, are you sure you didn't want to buy this shirt? So that ran the most profitable. Our testing ran at a 2.64, which was great. That's new creatives, new ad copy, just trying out new things to see if something will work as well as some of these other manual and CBO campaigns. So overall, pretty decent week. Our cost per action was, or cost per click was 73 cents. This is the highest that it's been so far and probably because there was so much competition during this week. That's high, but this number should continue to trend down towards the end of Q4 and will definitely be cheaper in Q1. Q1 is actually when ads are the cheapest to run. The next expense was Google ad spend. So we spent $391.06, as you can see here, for a total of $1,770 in revenue. So pretty decent. The last expense that we have is our merchant fees. This goes to Shopify and PayPal because we use them in order to receive payments. And so in order for them to make money, they take fees from us. This week, that was $1,151.22 in fees for total cost of $31,286.57. We also need to take out overhead expenses. These overhead expenses should continue to remain the same month after month because these are our applications. We're paying monthly subscriptions. These should not change at all. So we put that in as over expense. It's basically the amount of money that it takes to keep the lights on for running the business. So we also will subtract out that $588 for the week for a net profit of $7,755.09 or a 20% margin. That is absolutely incredible. We killed it this Black Friday. I love to see it. So as far as the challenge goes, let's figure out how much I need to make and how much I now have made from running this store since July of 2023. So my goal for this challenge, as you know, is to make $100,000 in profit. I've already made $72,859.03 in profit. So if we subtract that, that brings us to $27,140.97 that I needed to make in order to hit my goal. So if we deduct out that $7,755.09 in profit that I made this week, that means I need to make $19,385.88 
before January 31st or I fail this challenge, which now brings the total profit since July of 2023 from starting this store from zero sales to $80,614.12. This just goes to show that by continuing to run a print-on-demand store, continuing to make changes, continuing to push yourself in a challenge, you absolutely can continue making thousands of dollars every single month from print-on-demand. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please comment and subscribe to my channel and remember to turn on notifications. That way you get notified every time a new challenge video is dropped. And let's see if I can make $100,000 by January 31st. Thanks for watching.